take him. Throw it right on him. Oh, I'm going after that little guy. He fell right out my hand. Welcome back to another video. In this video right here, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you how to locate and catch shad. And the shad that I'm going to be talking about today particularly is going to be thread fin because, you know, gizzard shad, they're a little bit more harder to catch. The reason why I'm making this video right here is because I, I made a video on how I threw a cast net, my cast net, which is a four foot cast net, and a lot of people have watched it. So what I want to do is, is show you how to catch bait with the cast net that you learn how to throw. And if you don't know how to throw a cast net, I'm going to put a little thing up here or whatever, wherever it's going to be at on this side or this side, I'm not exactly sure. But wherever it's going to be at, you can click on that and you can watch that video and I'll show you how to take and throw out a cast net. Before you watch that, make sure you watch this video right here. Or you can go watch that one and then watch this one and then you can know how to catch bait after you learn how to throw a cast net. There's two ways I know how to catch uh, shad with a cast net. First way is without a fish finder. Second way is with a fish finder. And I'm going to try to show you both ways today before the sun goes down because the perfect time to catch bait is in the afternoon or in the early morning. But you can implement what I'm doing to uh, help you catch bait. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump into this right here. I'm going to crank my little motor up. I'm going to tell you how I catch bait right quick. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you and I'm going to tell you how I locate and catch shad. Thread fin shad, if you want to get out and start catching bait, that's going to be the easiest one for you to catch. They're the smaller ones. But like I said, let's go on and get this right here, this video right here started. Then let me show you how to get out there and catch your own bait so you don't have to pay for none. And a plus, it's so simple. Just just wait, just wait. You're going to see. It's easy. So let me show you how this is done right here. First thing you want to do is, is kind of creep around and look around in the water. Like, look, you got to look pretty hard now. Not too hard, but when the bait is running, you'll be able to find them really good. And I'm about to show you what bait looks like on top of the water. It makes it a little bit more, it makes it a little bit more easier for you to find it. But once you find the bait, I'm going to show you how to catch the bait. Let me take and get this camera right here turned around, and I'm going to show you what bait looks like on top of the water. Because once you find the bait, I'm telling you, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. You might not know what it looks like. Some people might know what it looks like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around where you can tell what bait looks like so you'll know what it looks like when you get out there because it's crazy. So let me show you. All right, I got my camera turned around where you'll be able to see me and you can see what I'm looking at. So this is what I want you to look for right here is when you're looking for bait, if you look out here in this water, I, there's been, been people out here that have been kind of like just riding around. So it's going to be a little bit difficult. But once I find them, hold on one second, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. All right, right here in the water, right here, right in front of me, you'll see them. And I don't know if you can see right here, there's like little, little like bubbly type things going on. And up right there, you see it right here? I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I hope you can. But right there and right, oh, there they are, right there. You see them? That right there is uh, bait and it's all in front of me. And whenever you're taking and you're gonna go ahead and once you find this bait, I don't know if you can really see it though, I hope you can, but once you find that bait right there, what you want to do is be real quiet. Any kind of noise will spook this bait right here. Like that's that's just how it works. It, it will spook easily. And right there's a whole line of them. But what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take and uh, I'm gonna show you what you got to do when you take and you come up on this bait right here so you'll be able to catch it. And that right there is thread fin. And I don't know if you can really tell out here in the open but it looks like little things all out there now that right there that is bait bait is everywhere and um there's bait right here right in front of me what i'm gonna do is is like i said i'm gonna oh did you see it did you see them i kind of i was a little bit loud and they kind of heard me and, they, and i spooked them but what we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you how to catch these guys right here so check this out right here okay since you found and you located the bait which is ripples on top of the water I, I wish I could have got it a little bit more better. I might be able to get a little bit more better here in a minute. But what you want to do is you want to be quiet because this bait is spooked very easily. So if you do find it, be very, very quiet. You're not going to be able to see me see my face here in a minute because I'm going to have to stand up. What I want you to do is when you find them little ripples on top of the water, is I want you to take your trolling motor. And I hope in the camera you can see it. But right here, right in front of me, I got bait right in front of me. But what I want you to do is take your trolling motor and just be real slow and move to them and move to them I already start getting your cast net ready but I'm gonna stand up right quick so I can get some of this bait right here 
but you want to go ahead and get your cash net ready. And once you get your cash net ready, you always want to keep it loaded. It always stays loaded, especially when you're looking for bait. You don't never want to take and not have a loaded cash net because you never know at any point in time when the bait can pop up. But I'm already ready, set to go. And uh, I spooked the bait a little bit when I got up, but we're gonna have to go chase them down right quick. But that's what you want to do. You want to be kind of kind of quiet. It's all about quietness when you're catching bait. But you're taking, you just want to move up on them. And once you get pretty close, you want to cut your trolling motor off, which I got some right here, right directly in front of me. They're like right there. And once you get close enough, get real quiet, and you take and throw it right on them. And we're gonna hope that we caught some because that wasn't the best throw I've ever did. But you want to take and reload your net as you're pulling back in. Oh, we got some. Check it out, boys. And we got a we got a gizzard in the process. Check it out right here. This is what we're going after right here. I was going after shad, thread fin shad, and that's what I caught right here. Check it out. I got a whole heap of them right here. And uh, let me take and open up my eye when you when you catch them. When you catch them, you want to go ahead and put them in your live well as fast as you can. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to throw these guys right here, right in here, right quick. Because they, they don't stay living very long if you keep them out. But, check this out right here. This is what I'm going after actually right here is thread fin. I'll get them a little closer so you, so you can see them. That's a thread fin shad right there. And sometimes, like this right here, what I'm about to show you. Sometimes you'll get a gizzard with thread fin. See, they, they run together, but this is a thread fin and this is a gizzard right here. Let me see if I can't hold them a little bit more better where you can see, see them. And that right there is what I'm going after right here for catfish bait. That right there is a prime good catfish bait. They're both good catfish bait though because they both run together and uh, fish eat them. Like both, all fish really eat them. But that's how you locate them on top of the water. I don't know if you can tell, but right there, right behind me, I can see it right here. That's bait all right behind me, right there. You see it right here on top of the water. It looks like little bleep, 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 bleep on top of the water. But that right there is definitely, oh, what I'm going after. That little guy, he fell right out of my hand. But that's a gizzard, and that's a thread fin shad right there, and that's what we're going after. But when you take and you catch them, you want to put them in something fast as possible because they do not live long at all. I, if they stay out the water or if you touch them too much, they will not live. They will not live. If you spook bait just like I did, what you do is, is you find, you try to find another, you try to find another spot with bait in it. And I mean, it, it's not always going to be perfect. Like I said, it's not always going to be perfect. But catching bait is kind of hard. I'm not going to lie to you. But once you find it, see, I got bait right here, right in front of me. You try, you try to get as close as you can. See, they got spooked, man. And once they get spooked, it gets really hard and really tough to keep chasing them down. Because that's what you got to do, basically, is chase them down. All right, so I got some right here right in front of me. What you do is, you want to take, and they disappeared, but I believe they're still there. Take and throw the cast net out and let it sink for a little ways. You don't have to let it sink forever. Just let it sink for a little ways, and always reload your cast net as you're pulling it back in. And I only got two that trip. They disappeared on me. See, when, when you get close to them, even if you don't have a cast net full, check that out right there. It's not a cast net full, but I did get two of them, but I'm gonna throw them back. They're kind of small. I don't need them. I'm gonna let them little guys live. Now, once you take and you throw out your cast net, uh, one to one or two times in the same area you want to go ahead and leave that area that bait fish is gone You won't ever see it again. They have left because you have scared them So what you do is you want to take and you want to move and uh, look for another school load All right, I showed you my first way of catching bait, which is just looking on top of the water 
And what you do is, if you got like a little motor like this right here, and it's real quiet like it is, and you can just kind of cruise, it's nice to have. But if you don't, you can always use a trolling motor. Or if you just got a paddle like I used to, then you just paddle and just be real quiet. And you'll see them on top of the water. But let's just say it's starting to get nighttime like it is right now. I don't know if you can tell. That's the reason why I'm doing this right here at the edge of dark so you can see what I do to catch bait. It's starting to get dark. You have no idea where to find bait. You, you couldn't get out, you couldn't catch no brim, you couldn't do anything to catch bait, but you got a cast net and it's legal in your area to catch shad. And you have a fish finder. But a lot of people don't know how to use a fish finder to be able to locate anything. They mainly use it for depth. But if you know how to use it, it's a good piece of tool on your boat to know how to, to find bait, find fish, find structure, find everything. You don't have to have nothing high tech or anything to find bait. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of cruising. And um, what I'm gonna do is, is whenever I find some bait on my fish finder down here, which, you know, all of them's at the top of the water right now, so it's gonna get a little bit more harder. But what I'm gonna do is once I find some, uh, find some bait, I'm gonna take and show you what I'm talking about and show you how to catch the bait whenever you take and find it on the fish finder. Because it, it's, it, it's not hard, but it's not easy. But it's, 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 if you know what you're doing, yeah, you can you can catch it. Like I'm trying to simplify it the most way I can because uh, fishing is more or less time consuming, and that's what makes everything a whole lot more harder. Is just because it's time time consuming. But once I find the bait on this screen right here, which I'm just kind of cruising right now, but once I find this bait, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about and show you how to catch it. So let me find some bait and I'm gonna show you how to catch it with a fish finder. here and I've been searching and searching and searching to show you bait on a fish finder and for some reason I can't really find none but let me take and show you what I'm looking at right here right here I don't know if you can see it but all these little specks right here this is bait I'm sitting in 8.8 .8 foot of water and this right here is bait they're about six foot down and uh, it's nighttime so it's gonna be kind of hard to show you what I'm doing but this side of the screen, this is a wide one. This one right here is straight down. So this one right here is a better pronounced one. So I can tell you and show you. But this right here could be gizzard shad or it could be thread fin, but I'm pretty sure it's gizzard shad. And that right there is a good ball of bait right there. I don't know if you can see that Look right there. That's a good ball of bait. But what you do is, is once you find the bait, I'm gonna see if I can't show you right here because it's nighttime. I don't have lights that I can show you. But what you do is my transducer is back here in the back. Once you find bait, check this out right here. Look at that. Look at that right there. They're all just lined up. But what you do is, is after you find bait on the fish finder, since this is all bait, what you do is, is you want to take take your trolling motor and you want to spin the boat around. And when you spin the boat around, you want to cast behind you. And I'm going to try I'm gonna try to take and uh, set my camera up where you can see what I'm doing and see what's going on because I'm going to try to show you how to catch this bait right here because this is how I do it at nighttime whenever I don't have bait and I come out here at nighttime. So let me set this up and let me see if I can show you how this is done right here. All right, I got my headlamp on right now so I can try to show you my camera sitting kind of crooked, but it'll be okay. Maybe I can get a little bit more better pronounced way of showing you how to find bait, but that's basically what you're looking for, clusters on a fish finder. But I'm gonna try, to, I'm gonna try my best to show you what I'm talking about. What you do is the same way. Uh, at night time it gets a whole lot more quieter but what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take your, take your cast net and load it because everything always gets tangled up but you want to go ahead and load it is what you want to do before you do anything be real quiet don't be crazy make sure the cast net everything's open none of your lead weights are tied together or anything so I'm loaded, I'm ready to go. What you want to do is once you find the bait, what you want to do is, is you want to take and turn the boat just a little bit. I wish I could show it to you right there on my fish finder, but I got bait right behind me. What you want to do is, is you want to cast it pretty much right behind the boat and let it sink. You take and always reload it. 
always reload as you're coming back in. And we're going to see if we caught anything. Out of all that, out of all that bait I seen, I caught one three spin. Look at that right there. He's right there at the bottom. Only caught one. But that's how it works when you're catching bait, though. You don't always catch them. Not every single time. Like right now, I ain't even got to move. You can see, you can see right down there on the fish finder that there's bait right behind me. So let's try it again. We're gonna let it sink. Just let it sink. I'm in some deep water right now. I'm in like 11 foot. But don't let it sink all the way to. I don't let mine sink all the way to the bottom because I'm scared it's gonna get hung on something. Right then, we called us a gizzard, boys. No, that's actually a big thread fin right there. Look at this guy. This is actually the thread fin that I'm going after. Check him out. Let's see if I can get him a little bit more closer. Check this out. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've never made a video like this. Y'all going to have to just get it. Just bear with me now. Just bear with me. Check him out. That's a bigger thread fin. That's actually the type of thread fin I'm going after. He's a little bit more bigger. But that's the thread fin I'm actually going after. But um, that's how that's how you catch bait uh, at nighttime on the fish finder. And let me see if I can't. Oh man, check it out. It's a better. It's better right there. Check this out. Check this out. Let me turn the cap right here. Right here. I'm in. 20 foot 19 foot of water and right here if you can see all this right here this is all bait i don't know if that's thread fin or gizzard shad or what but i can tell you that that's bait right there and all this is bait too but when you find something that looks like this right here a big cluster and you see how it's got all the pronounced orange dots and stuff in it that right there is what you're looking for that's what i look for at nighttime but I was trying to hurry up and do it so you can see what was going on. But since the bait is here, I, don't, I know you can see that really good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cast the cast net back out again and show you. I'm going to let you see what I'm talking about. So let me set my camera back up for a second. Let me set this back up. I know it's a little bit sideways, but... What we're going to do is we're going to load the cast net. I got up and all the bait went away. That's crazy. It happens, uh, especially when you're trying to make a video about it. We're going to see if we can't take and do this pretty quickly. It looks like all the bait has actually went away, but we're going to try it again anyways. You get your cast net loaded, you get everything ready to go, and you cast him on out there. And I cast it right behind the boat. And I'm just going to let it sink a little bit, not a whole lot. Because like I said, I don't want to get it hung on the bottom. That would be bad. That would be real bad. And we caught two big three fin. Now, let me get these guys right here out of here. That's all I need right there. I actually just caught enough bait. I don't need no more. But check this out. These are actually the three fin that I'm going after. I can grab them. Let me get my. Hold on one sec. Let me make sure I ain't know nobody's way or anything. Okay, we're good. Let me get the camera. I mean, my light set this way. Check this out. These are actually the size thread fin that I'm going after. Because you got thread fin don't get a butt about that big. Let's see if I can't get a little bit more better than that. Thread fin don't get a butt about that big right there that is perfect perfect size bait he just fell in the chair but check it out that's perfect size bait right there that's what i'm actually going after i got enough bait so i hope that kind of helped you out and um to be able to catch be able to catch share it's not it's not real hard it's just very very time consuming is what it is 
kitchen shed is very, very time consuming. So I hope, like I said, I hope that right there helped you out. Let me see if I can't grab this guy right here. I want to get him on my live wheel. And I got him. I hope that right there helped you out. Uh, trying to catch shad. It's not very hard to catch shad, but it is, like I said, it's time consuming. You just got to move around and find them. And once you do find them um, and you throw the cast net, you just need to move and uh, try to find more. Because once you throw the cast net, it's done for. You're not going to, you're not going to take, and uh, there's bugs everywhere, <laughs> but you're not going to take and keep casting in the same area and catch uh, shad. The, um, I got lucky right then to catch just a few right there because I cast it out one time and then I seen it again on the fish finder. Now, that's the way I do it. It always helps me. I don't get a ton of them in my cast net every time, but I do catch enough that I can uh, get out and catfish at nighttime if I don't have bait. But like I said, I appreciate everybody that watch and I appreciate everybody that uh, watched my cast net video on how to throw a cast net. And I hope that this right here helped you out. And if you haven't, if you don't know how to throw a cast net, like I said, I'm gonna put it up here somewhere where you'll be able to find out how to be able to find out how I take and throw a cast net. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna get the catfishing, boys. Since I'm already out here, might as well go on and take and try to catch this good old catfish. But like I said, appreciate everybody watching the video right here. Hope this helped you out. If you got any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment section, man. And if you ain't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, to get more fishing related content or how to videos and me catching fish stuff like that but i appreciate everybody that watch and i appreciate everybody that gets out and learns something from me and be able to get out there and catch some shad man and be able to get to fishing and cat fishing or if you just want to learn how to do it or if you just enjoy watching fishing videos but like i said appreciate it we're gonna get to cat fishing boys